Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to my channel. I really need to have a talk with you guys. First of all, let me say that I missed you so much. Um, I really, really, really miss sitting down and just doing my makeup and talking to you guys because really this is my therapy. A brief bit about me. My name's Kate or Caitlin or Katie or whatever you'd like to call me today. Um, and I love all things spooky and creepy and all that kind of stuff. I do a lot of urbex and I am a haunted attraction actor or I was, which is what we're going to get into today. So before we get into that, let me just start my makeup so that I don't look disgusting this whole time. First thing I'm going to start with is my coconut and rose milk facial mist from Bolero. I got this at the dollar store and I absolutely adore it. Um, it smells so good. If you guys have been on my channel for any amount of time, you will know that I adore the e.l.f. foundation. Typically I wear natural, which was previously porcelain, but I am going to be retrying the Wet n Wild foundation in Shell Ivory. So, I have not used this in so long. That covered that pimple right up. Okay. You know, I have been in the haunted attraction industry since 2013. Um, and I have been in love with it since the day that I started. Um, I've been doing this for so long that I don't remember what life was like before haunting. And that's what I really loved so much about being in the attraction industry is because for a really long time in my life, I hated who I was and I used being in a haunted attraction to kind of be able to change myself and be the person that like I wanted to be or that I could step out of Caitlin and be Abby, who is my character. Um, if you didn't know, I worked at Field of Screams in Lancaster, Pennsylvania for four years. And then um, I have been at Pennhurst for four years now. Um, and I also worked a year at uh, 13th floor in Denver, Colorado when I lived there. Okay, can we talk about how beautiful this foundation is actually? Just give it one second. Going to be going in with my elf 16 hour camo concealer in the color light peach I've been using this since it came out and I absolutely adore it as you can see I've been doing this for quite a while um, and I absolutely love my family that I've created in the haunted attraction industry and it has become such a staple in my life and I do all of the outside events if I can get to them but we are going to get into why I have to retire going in with my favorite bronzer sunset strip tees by wet n wild so after I told my boss I drove home and I know I should have went immediately to the hospital but for me when I get hurt, I immediately want to just go home. I want to be out of the area where people can see me cry and be upset. Okay, this is looking extremely harsh, but it's, I promise you, it's not as harsh in person. Um, so when I got home, I could barely walk. I could barely get out of my car. And my dad was like, nope, you're going to the hospital right now. And of course that is so upsetting to me because I don't like to show my weaknesses. And that really sucks to have that toxic trait because I was so hurt. Like I was in so much pain. Next, I'm using the blush pearlescent pink by Wet n Wild um, on my cheekbones and my the bridge of my nose.
I'm using my janky Morphe eyeshadow palette. This is the 35F. I don't dip into this a lot, but since it's fall, I mean, I've gotta. So when I get to the hospital, we were working, we were sitting in the waiting room and I was in such severe pain. I could barely sit because the way I fell, I fell straight down on my tailbone and my hip and like my lower back area. And it was so bad guys. When I say it was so bad, it was, I could barely sit. I could barely stand. I could barely do anything. But of course me being stubborn the way that I am, I refused to get a wheelchair. All right, next I'm diving into the Slush by September Rose Cosmetics, and I'm grabbing this orange color. This is called Orange Soda, and I'm blending it out on the crease as well. And basically, this all started, like, around, like, 11, or no. So it's, I got off work. I think I probably fell around 1030. Um, and he, you know, I drove home. So by the time I got home, it was like 11 o'clock. Two minutes. They probably weren't even two minutes down the road. And I texted and told them that I fell. So by the time we got to the hospital, it was like 1130. Um, we ended up waiting three and a half hours well, we ended up waiting an hour and a half just to be triaged. And then three and a half hours in the waiting room. Just waiting to be taken back. We got back there, I got x-rays done, and then after, um, after the x-rays, I waited another hour. So, at this point, I'm in the hospital almost five hours. Um, and this is only to find out that there was no damage done, thank God, um, that day. But I found out that I have degenerative disc disease, disc damage. All right. Now I'm just going in with the basic black, um, on a, like a flat brush. Uh, this is, again, a wet and wild brush. I promise to God I am not sponsored by wet and wild, but just take a little bit, pack it on the brush, and then I'm going to take the LA Girl setting spray, fix and set, and just... So it uh, decreases fallout, and just pat that all over the lid. Generative disc damage is, is when your cartilage starts to um degenerate or it starts to break down now typically older people get this um in their 50s or 60s uh, after their body has been put through the ringer almost and and you know you typically don't see people my age with this same disorder this is so upsetting because you haunt um, it puts a huge toll on your body. Now, I can't say that haunting was the thing that did me in. I also did sports growing up. So I also did soccer and uh, softball and, you know, I was, I was an outside kid. Um, so I can't specifically say that haunting is what did me in. Now I'm going to take a small packer brush. I got this at the dollar store, yo. <laughs> like, this is such a good brush. Um, and it's got, like, a smaller tip than my, like, normal blending brushes. So you can kind of see. Um, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to take a darker brown and a black and mix the two of them and blend out the crease. Like so. See how blended that is? And you can see that fallout again. Just take your little brush, make sure to pat it off on your fingers so you're not spreading the black, and just go ahead and brush it away. Right, and now to finish off the eyeshadow, I am gonna take a little bit of this gold color and I am going to pack it right onto the inner corner. All right, I messed up a little bit on this eye. I had to do some damage control, but this is what it should look like with the gold. 
when I found out that we were going to do Penhurst this year, I signed up immediately. And I had already called out, you know, I had already put in my schedule for work. And I had already gotten, you know, off for that. Now, because of COVID, we start our season late this year. And we have all sorts of precautions against, you know, COVID infections within the workplace and um, with our customers. It was so frustrating to get news like this so close to the beginning of the season. I knew that if this were the case and, you know, if, if I were put into the position to decide whether or not they were going to bring somebody back, I would bring someone back that was completely reliable rather than someone who may have an issue. And that hurts to say because I I don't like to be that person. I don't like to be the person that is unreliable. And I realized that if I were to do this and damage my back even more, I can no longer be reliable um, for what I wanted to do. And I'm just not that person. Um, so, unfortunately, I made the hard decision to retire from haunting as I knew it. All right, I swear to God, I'm not actually crying. I just put eyeliner in my waterline. So, again, that um, is going to be Wet n Wild, the um, gel liner. Little pro tip right here. Every time it gets dry, just use like a facial mist or like a setting spray, just one little spritz, and you're good. Like, it comes right back to life for you. That being said, we're going to get right into our next product, which is the Revlon uh, Wonder Woman 84 uh, So Fierce Mascara Extend Lift Volumize in the Blackest Black. This is a new product for the new Wonder Woman movie, and I did want to try it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. First of all, this bottle is so freaking cute. Look at the red into black. Ugh. And it's got a really beautiful brush. So let's see how this goes. This is actually super pretty. This did like a good bit for my lashes. Like not even gonna lie. I'm used to the falsies and that's what I've been using for years. But I might switch over to whatever this becomes after the World War II. I'm guessing, or the... Wonder Woman 8. Wonder Woman 84. I'm an idiot. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm a little lost today. Okay, I'm going to go in with my, again, Wet n Wild. I guess I'm sponsored by Wet n Wild now. Call me. All right, and last product, but certainly not least, are the new Ardell Cat Eye Eyelashes. They are 503 Blacks. These cost me $3.99, guys, so if they are any good at all go out and buy all of them <laughs> all right these are definitely a win they look a lot better in person than they do on camera I don't know why that is but they're just the perfect amount you can kind of see here like that they're just the perfect amount of flare to just give your eyes a little bit of a pop without making it so large that they look stacked I have their black liquid lipstick and so nor cool. Well, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.